Matt from Cork's Group. Everybody knows that red wine goes with red meat, but why? Today we're going to explain everything, looking at lamb, looking at beef, looking at game. Meat and red wine has an almost symbiotic relationship. Why? Because the fats and the proteins that you get in meat soften the tannins, that drying character, and the acidity that you find in red wines. French peasants know this all too well, but any really rough wine with a hunk of rare meat and it tastes fantastic. And here we've got some lovely wines to pair with each individual style of meat. The first meat that we're looking at is lamb. Lamb is sweet, lamb is quite delicate in its flavour, lamb can also be quite delicate. So we don't want to overpower it, and something like a Malbec would just be far too powerful for this meat. So the wine that I've put with it is Rioja. Rioja is a lovely medium weight wine from the Basque country in north central Spain made from the Tempranillo grape and it has a vanillary character, it has a red fruit character which is just the right weight to enhance the lamb and the spiciness of the oak um, really works beautifully with the sweetness of the meat. The second pairing is beef and here we've got a really lovely marbled piece of beef on the bone and marbling is really important because all the, all the flavour in meat comes from the fat. A steak without fat is, is a tasteless steak. To enhance this really rather magnificent piece of steak we've got really a very nice bottle of wine. It's a Bordeaux, it's from Margot and the grape blend here is predominantly Cabernet Sauvignon with some Merlot and some Cabernet Franc. And Margot is renowned for its silky character. So as well as the kind of plummy Merlot and the black currant Cabernet Sauvignon, you've got a spicy character, which is gonna enhance the, the richness of the meat. Then finally, we've got game. So here we've got a piece of venison from deer. And you can see just by looking at it, that it's a very lean meat, no fat. So unlike the other two pairings, the wine that we're going to put with it doesn't have any oak because I want to maximise the acidity. I want to have something slightly sharper, something slightly more intense, which is going to cut through that really intense venison meat. And the wine that we've picked to do that is a Syrah. Syrah is the same as Shiraz, um, but Syrah from the Northern Rhone is grown in much cooler climate, so it's not so spicy. Um, it's far more peppery, far more violet and floral with intense blackberry characteristics. And this Syrah is slightly smoky, is gonna work beautifully against the gaminess of the venison meat. So there we have it, red wine and red meat. For more information, go and download the app.